welcome back to the channel. So I was minding my own business when suddenly this article came up. Please stop using classes in JavaScript. And I was like, oh my god, why, why should we stop using classes? And I'm like, all right, let me read it. But I have a feeling this is gonna be really fun. So I just decided to record it record my initial reaction to this article. Oh boy, I don't know what awaits us. For years, object-oriented programming was the de facto standard in software engineering. The concepts of classes, polymorphism, inheritance and encapsulation dominated and revolutionized the development process. Well, duh, and it still does because it's well thought out. But hey, hey, I don't want to be judgmental. Let's just Maybe he knows something. But everything has an expiration date, programming paradigms included. In this article, I'll talk about why were classes introduced in the first place, why it is a bad idea to use classes in JavaScript, and what are some of the alternatives. When was this article written? 2020. Oh, so it's like three years old. That I don't think this aged very well. We kind of have TypeScript and all that. I mean, we had TypeScript then, but it's it gains even more popularity now, so I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe he sees the future, maybe he sees the future. So I'm not going to talk about why OP is fading away in general, but you can check out this great article for more info. I will not think so. Pre-ES6 classes. Before ES6, uh, classes weren't a thing in JavaScript, so people figured out some hacky decky ways to create prototypical stuff. So even though the class keyword was added JavaScript since, yeah, people were using, were using classes either. The way to achieve this was a constructor function and prototype delegation. Yes, to show you exactly what I'm going to implement, the same class in ES5 and ES6 environments, consider a class car and sports car that inherits car. Both of them have make and model properties at start method, but sports car also has the turbocharged property and overrides the start method. Yeah, also, this is a very classic example. Basically, when you start OP, then in any language, this is the, one of the basic examples to show you how the syntax looks like and how this works. So, before ES6, you had this abomination. You make a function and you need to change the prototype. Every object that you create from this uh, class, this car class, which is a function, but a function is an object, so don't just they're just not going to it. So you change the prototype, you by adding a function. And he also makes a sports car, which calls the constructor of the car and blah, blah, blah. And as you can see, there's like this prototype and that prototype. And he tells the constructor that he so it's so it's, it's, it's a spaghetti. It's basically a spaghetti. If you want, you can look it up. I mean, I did a lot of work like this and it was a nightmare. You just can't, you just really don't know what you're doing. At some point, even the most experienced developers will bleed out. You know, it's 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 a mess. It's a mess. As you probably guess, the car and the sports car functions are constructor functions. Yeah, we guess this and whatever. Okay. If you are not familiar with prototype, this is a special property that every JS object has to delegate common behavior. Yeah, as just I said, in, but I didn't phrase it like this. For example, prototype an array object has the functions you probably know well: the map, the for each, find, whatever. The prototype for strings has functions, replace, substring, whatever. After the care object is created, uh, you can access properties and methods. The call starts on line 35. Why am I reading this? Okay, so the JS engine asks the car object for value within the key. Okay, the object responds that it has no such value. The JS engine prototype object for value within the key start. The car prototype returns the start function that the JS engine executes immediately. Okay, so if you want to just check the code, it, it, I don't think that's really important. Accessing the make and model properties are performed similarly, except they are defined on the car object directly instead of the prototype. Okay. Inheritance is a bit trickier. It is handled line 24, 25. Yeah, so this all mess. The most important function here is the object create function. It accepts an object and returns a brand new one with its prototype set to whatever was passed as an argument. Now, if the JS engine does not find the value on the sports car object or the sports car prototype, it will console the sports car prototype prototype, which is the prototype of the car object. As you can see, see, yeah, it's nice. It's, it's not very convenient to use. So here comes ES6 with the class keyword. With the release of ES6 in 
to a 2015 long-awaited class keyword arrived in JavaScript, it was done as per numerous requests by the community because people were feeling uncomfortable coming from object-oriented languages. But they missed one important point. Jaroclit has no idea what classes are. What do you mean? Had they just added class keyword? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Jaroclit is not object-oriented language. Dude! Dude. Dude. Dude, let me show you something. Here. Let's just say that x is, is a function. See? And now, what happens if I check if x uh, instance of object? Hmm. Oh, so are you saying that a function is an instance of an object? Yes. Yes, it is. In JavaScript, almost everything is an object. What What are you saying? Non-object-oriented language. But all right, all right. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not gonna be judgmental. Maybe he's onto something. Maybe I'm dumb. It kind of says it's an object, but oh uh, well. Okay, okay. Let's move on. It was not designed to be one. The notion of classes is absolutely not applicable to it. My brain is. Oh my god. Okay. While everything in JS is in indeed an object. Because the contradiction is... Oh my god. These objects are different from the ones in Java or C Sharp. In JS, an object is simply a map that is structured with somewhat sophisticated lookup procedure. That is it, really. And when I say everything in an object, I mean it. Even functions are... Oh! He does the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't read. Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have read it first. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, this is all good, but how does the class keyword work then? Glad you asked. Do you remember the car and the sports car example earlier? Well, the class keyword is simply syntactical sugar on top of that. In other words, a class produces concepts of the same code as serves only on aesthetic and readability purposes. As I promised earlier, here's an example of the same class. Look, beautiful. This is, this is beauty. You can read the code. So you have it's encapsulated nicely, so you know the car, there's a constructor, the start, the string, and the sports. It's <clears throat> it's how it should be, and you can make the super. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's, I mean, it's not perfect, but yeah. But at least you can understand if you look at it. This is what you expect. These examples are identical, produce the same result. What's interesting, they produce almost the same code under the hood. How do you know? How do you know? I will not write it out there, but if you're curious, head on to Online Bebel Transpiler and have a look at the output. What do you mean? What do you mean? Bebel tra Oh my god. Of course, if you say it should transpile into AES5, it will transpile to ES5. Of course, it will produce the same output. But how do you know how the engine actually executes this code? And you don't know. How? I'm, I'm generally curious. Does anyone know? Does really? If I type this code into my browser or into Node and into whatever, are you telling me it's just gonna transpile into ES5 and then it's gonna be like executed? I, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't think so. And even if it did, what does that matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't this look better? Doesn't this look better? Of course it does. It just because it, in that small chance that this actually transpiles back into this madness. Does that mean that it's not usable? Who cares? It, it doesn't matter. Should have an understanding of what classes in JS are and how they work. Now, with all this knowledge, I can explain why using classes in JS is a bad idea. Oh my god. Binding issues. A class constructor function deal closely with this keyword and can introduce potential binding issues, especially if you try to pass your class method as a callback to an external routine. Yeah, that's kind of true. That's that. Yeah, that's kind of true. That's kind of true. Yeah, in JavaScript, that's that works. Like, if you're trying to pass event handlers and the callbacks and and whatever, then sometimes you need to like bind the, the this into that because it wouldn't know. I don't want to agree with him, but um, hmm, yeah, kind of. Performance issues. Because of class implementation, they are notoriously difficult to optimize at runtime. While we enjoy performance machines at the moment, the fact that Moore's law is fading away can change that. Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. And just improve the runtime environment is gonna be better. 
what why do you care is this right a code that, that that the ones who develop the 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 engines deal with that issue it's not your problem private variables one of the great adventures and, and the main reason for classes in the first place is private variables it's just non-existent js at the time of writing this article they weren't but they are now so i will ignore this point okay Strict hierarchies. Classes introduce a straight top to bottom order and make changes harder to implement, which is unacceptable in most JS applications. What? So you wanna why would you wanna change a class? On in runtime? What? I don't understand. I'm sorry, someone in the comment section just explain to me what, what does he mean by that? Does he mean that it's not possible to add additional stuff to classes? I don't think that's a good practice. I mean, I don't know what other languages do, but I, I don't think that's something you should do in the first place. A class is a class. You don't want to just... I mean, okay, maybe it doesn't mean that. Maybe I'm just dumb. So enlighten me, please. And five, because the React team tells you not to. Oh, while they did not explicitly deprecate the class-based components yet, they are likely to, and in the near future. Oh, Oh, so because React developers said not to use, or maybe, or maybe, in their special case, it's maybe more convenient to use functions because, you know, that's how it's all constructed. But don't tell me if you want to use a generic application like, I don't know, what a server or something in Node. Don't tell me that this doesn't look better. What you, what you want to do with this? You want to convert this into functions or what? You know how will that look? That's gonna be awful, awful. All of these issues can be mitigated with JS objects and prototype delegation. JS offers so much more than classes can ever do, yet most developers are blind to it. If you want to truly master JS, you need to embrace its philosophy and move away from dogmatic class-based thinking. Where? What do you do you want me to do? Go back to this? Dude, dude, you can't tell me. You can't tell me. You wanna, oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. You can't tell me this is okay. There's what's the alter? You you didn't okay, so we shouldn't do this. But what's how how should this could Oh my god, what did I do? So how should this code look then? Where is the where is your implementation? I want this. How? How? How should we solve this? You didn't write it because there is no better solution. If there was better solution, you would have written, I, you, you don't have to use JavaScript, you can just write it. Just write in generic language, what's the good solution? There is no good solution because this is the best solution. I'm sorry to say, this is the best solution. This is when developers looked at real life, describing things in real life and just applied it to programming, you know. You see a car, there are properties, there are things it can do. It can do. It's coming from real life. and I understand you want to like innovate some way and and i know there are some newer paradigms but so far it looks like this is the easier to learn this is this is the easier to understand and this is the easier to work on you need to consider that and i i i'm sure there are many different ways that you can do it better but how about if you say some mean stuff about certain ways of programming how about you just tell us an alternative this is all you can say that we should move away where tell me tell me you didn't tell so should you stop using classes <laughs> i don't care if you want you can just stop I, I wouldn't advise if i can say something i think if you're not using classes you should be using classes because in the long term your code is going to be much more maintainable if you don't use classes it's gonna eventually become what we call a spaghetti and the spaghetti code is very very hard to maintain and that's it and that's the end of the video i hope you liked it if you did you know thumbs up if you didn't well i don't know i don't you can do nothing there's no other button and also you need to subscribe if you're not subscribed why don't you in the future i think i'm gonna find marvelous articles like this and we will just read it together because this is fun. This is fun for me. Coding content, eh, not so much. It's, it takes a long time to make. It's not that fun. This is fun. I think this is fun. So let's try. Let's try that. I will find some articles here and there and react to them. You can even, you can even send me some. I'm more than happy to read. Take care. Bye bye.